This is being restored at the moment. Hi Matthew. And it should be hopefully in operation by early next year. Right, I'm live now. So I'll turn the radio off. Turning to be fine. Oh well, that's all right. Then. Yeah, turn, we turn it off. Turn, oh, we put Planet Rock on if you want. <laughs> I think we'll we, skip that for now. <laughs> we, have, we have Planet when we when Jeremy Vine comes on, we put Planet Rock on. Yeah. Oh, you've moved your diagram up there. Oh, yeah, I, I was looking for it on the other wall. Mm. Isn't this beautiful? Mm. Yeah, it's lovely. Yeah. When do you think it, it, you'll be able to have it in operation? Well, we're hoping January two thousand sixteen. Oh, it'd be brilliant. Mm. We've, yeah. we've completed the wiring, we've completed the wiring in the relay room, which is the most important, and um, it's in the process of um, being tested. So we hand it over to the testers, they test it, make sure it's all according to the, uh, to the design. And then we've got to motorise the signals, motorise the points, and wire up to the signals and points and get those all going. Uh, and we'll transition it, if all goes to plan, in January 2016. Amazing, isn't it? All that work. How long has it taken you all together? Well, I got involved in this about a year ago, but the, the team working on this were involved in it much, much earlier than that. Mm. So, I was probably two, two to three years. I, I couldn't say precisely, but... Mm, amazing. They're so pretty, see, aren't they, these leaflets? <laughs> Do you want to see one of them working? Because we've got... Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah because it's all, it's all interlocked, so it's electrically locked, this. So while we're live, I'll pick on one that better worked first time. If you listen to this, you can hear the, you can hear the lock picking. You hear that? Yeah. yeah. So you can actually move the lever. So the interlocking thinks there's no conflicting lever positions. And when the relays are wired up in the relay room, there'll be selection locking to make sure there's nothing in the track circuit, no trains where they shouldn't be, so that you can just pull the signal straight away. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. I think um, I'm right in saying this is the first um, heritage railway that has got this type of signalling, yeah. is that right? Yeah. I think so, yeah. yeah. I think these are very popular with miniature railways and garden railways, but we'll be the we'll be the first full size one. Yeah, yeah. full size, full yeah. full standard gauge railway to have a but if you look at the picture on the wall, uh, there's a narrow gauge up at Hampton Court, and they've got massive, they've got twice as much as we've got, oh. fully operational. But because they're oh. um, they're a miniature uh, miniature gauge. Yeah. There's been so much interest in this uh, in this project. Yeah. Kept me interested. That's yeah, yeah. I come up here a couple of weeks, and, and you, apparently you've been away. Yeah. I couldn't see anybody. <laughs> <laughs> couldn't no. see anybody <laughs> working just... here, and I thought, oh dear. <laughs> I wonder if they finished and I've missed it. No, <laughs> not at all. I don't know if you can squeeze underneath because all the, the work I've been doing is all underneath. But well, yeah, I'll, I'll have a go. But you've got to, you've got to be careful. You can crack your head. You really, you need a bump pad and everything. Yeah, there's, um, there's people joining all the time here, so um, it'll give them something to look at, won't it? Do you want to watch a cup of tea, mate? <laughs> a genuine British Railways cup of tea. But uh, it's a fabulous view from here as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You're live right now then, are you? Yes, I'm live, yeah. I'm... How many followers have you got? Um, well, it's difficult to say because sometimes it's unreliable. It says four, but there could be a lot more than that. All right. Um, when I actually log off, I, I, I sort of, sometimes I get sort of 75 or 100. Um... Has this got Blue Bell News as well? Um, it, separate. Um, well, it, um, well, it'll go. I save them, and it goes onto YouTube. Um, it goes on my um, Yahoo uh, email group, yeah. and it'll also go on the um, probably on the uh, What's New page on the Blue Belt, and also on the newsletter. Wow! Uh, so you'll be famous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where are we yeah. going? Have I got to have a hat for this? You need a bump hat to go down here. Yeah, yeah. And you can borrow that one. 
I've got quite a big head. So. Yeah, well, the worst, the, the most dangerous is actually getting in because you've got oh. a sharp edge on that lock. So right. keep your head right down. Let's hope we can keep the signal going down there. We should be able to, shouldn't we? Yeah, well, the router's up there, so you're not far away. Oh, well, that's all right then. So just keep your head right down when you get in. Uh, this should be interesting, folks. It's quite a step down, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. Just crouch, that's it. A bit more, a bit more. Get on to the next step. Yep. No, no. I won't destroy anything, will I? Well, you might destroy yourself. <laughs> Hello, I'm stuck. <laughs> All right. Hang on. You, you... Is that you or me? Crouch I'll your back a bit more. I'll come gonna... down backwards, shall yeah. I? Yeah. These shoes don't help. Go on, you're nearly in. Yep. Want to get your leg? Yeah. Just lift it, lift it up, that's, that's it. it, brilliant, yeah. Right, catch you back a bit more. Yeah, I've got stuck. Just watch your head. So right, I've got it, yep, yep. Right, we're down, folks. Right, oh. all you got to do, just watch these, because it's sharp oh, edges. Yeah, so I don't... Why you've got... Hang on, never mind. So these locks... Here we go. Yeah. So the red ones are called lever locks, and the black ones are called selection locks. Right. The red ones are to stop conflicting movement conflicting movement uh, on the levers alone right. so you can't swing the wrong lever at the wrong time oh, I see. The black ones are selection locks which look at the track circuits and they make sure there's not a train in the track or a train waiting at the next signal anything unsafe is uh, is determined by the logic that drives these and only if it's safe to, to make the movement will you energize that lock so as you pull the lever you heard the little buzz yeah if it's safe to leave, move the lever that one will energise and that one will energise. And you can't see it, but above here you've got a bar that moves and that's the lock bar. So as if everything's correct and you move the lever, these locks will move up and down. Ah, oh, right. So when both locks are up, it's free to move the lever. And you can only do that when both locks are up, we'll only do it when it's safe to do so. Right. And you've been doing most of this work down here, have you? Not entirely me, but a lot of, the, most of the majority, certainly not, not all, but the majority has been done by me. And we've had a few other, a couple of other guys working specifically on the wiring. But there's been other guys working on all sorts of the, well, different parts of the frame. So we're all one, one team, really, all from uh, the S&T. Right, that's marvellous. Yeah. But if you look around here, these, these are the contact bands. These are the contacts contacts that operate on either side of the bands. As you move the lever, we'll show you, we'll go back up and show yeah. you. As you move the lever, it rotates, and as the bands rotate, you make or break these contacts. So each of these contacts is either open or closed, depending on the position of the lever and the position of the band. Each one of these goes down, and we, we have lever to lever locking, is all really done by the wiring from, this, from these blocks to these blocks to these blocks. That's the, um, the, the lever to lever selection which are the red ones the black ones more like the selection so the, the selections themselves tend to come out of here the bottom set of bands they go down to the relay room via this so we've covered it all up now but we've got all the wires in this ducting and it all pops out here into these and then we've got these multi cores that go right down to the relay room amazing isn't it? the smaller ones are for the token machines that will be located up here and these white ones are for the diagram, uh, which you've just seen above you. Oh. And these, at the moment, are being tested, so you can open or close these these little contacts here. Oh, so right in the middle of testing right now, so we've got yeah. some open, some closed. Yeah. And uh, you seem to think that um, all being well, that should be ready by early next year. Our, our, yeah, oh. our plan is for January 2016. Oh. Yeah, once we shut down after Christmas, that's when we uh, hope to get this transition. Mm, be quick, wouldn't it? Because the other one's falling down, isn't it? <laughs> yep. uh, I couldn't make a comment while I'm, <laughs> while I'm in live. <laughs> yeah, let's say it's not as good as it used to be. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's say this will be a worthy replacement. Absolutely, yeah. Oh, it'd be great. It'd be great to see it in operation. Wouldn't so it? if you come down here, John, mm. you should see something else. To make it fully authentic, this is how they used to be. The selection locks have all got these little covers on, and each one's going to be um, uh, going to be 
locked here by a little piece of wire and sealed up. So, so the idea is that nobody can get in and frig something to make it an unsafe movement. Ah, right. Because mm. apparently that's what can happen with these. Mm. While everything's exposed, you can go and you know make a, a alter it, make an unsafe movement. So you've got these covers up here to stop people getting oh, in, right. and these will be uh, lo you know these will be mm. put a little wire in the seal. Mm. At the moment, it's elastic bands because while it's been <laughs> testing, there's no selection logic down in the relay room just yet. So while it's ah. been testing, there's these elastic bands holding them on. Mm. So it's going to take several months to, to test it all? Uh, mm. I'm not sure that, yeah, probably. I'm not quite sure of the testing schedule, but. Uh... That's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Right, should we go back up? Yeah. Uh, do you want to watch it? I'll just get out head first. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's probably easier this way. Yeah. Am I low enough? Yeah, keep, keep down, back back a bit further down. Yeah. That's it, yeah, okay. get on all fours, that's it. Yeah. yeah. Safe on all fours. I should have done that the first time, shouldn't I? Here we are. Right, I survived that. That's good. <laughs> right, I'll show you one that's working. If you have a look down here, the 25 working. Now then, here's the operation. You've got little gears on the lever bevel gears, turn it 90 degrees. So as you swing it, this rotates. Oh yes, yeah. As those rotate, the brass bands there make or break with the fingers behind and the connections behind. The brass bands themselves, if you look very closely, all got letters on. And there's like A and E, B, N and R. And each one makes or breaks in different stages of the lever movement. Right. So the lever will move from N in in that position to the R when it's fully back. So it's normal, N for normal, R for reverse. On its way through, it goes N, A, B, C, D, E, right through to R. So you've got N and R with A, B, C, D, E in between. Mm -hmm. And if you look very closely, you can see it's stamped. So an A, a, a band that's stamped A will only make when it's, the lever's in the A position. A band that's stamped B will only make in the B position, and so on and so on and so on. Mm. It's a very smooth movement, isn't it? Yeah, well, it's been adjusted and oiled, and uh, mm. it wasn't initially. It's taken quite a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> a neighbour of love. Uh, mm. And in fact, the, the locks still need finally tweaking, so it's been sorted out up to here. So this is sort of, it's still in progress, really. Mm. Mm. Um, the locks are checked and adjusted, and from 31 on, it'll need checking and adjusting. You can hear it's an AC coil, so you can hear it, mm. hear it buzzing. Yeah. Amazing, isn't it? Yeah, Well, thank you very much. It's, uh, yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> a lot of people are interested in that, I think. Jolly good.